Okay, yeah. She's okay, she's a bit. Yeah. She's a bit she's a bit wildish. Yeah, well, um, we all know about the uh, environmental crisis and uh, the shortage of fossil fuels and um, the world more and more faces now the challenge to uh, provide um, these fuels and uh, for day-to-day -day needs and uh, here in India we have a lot of uh, power cuts and fluctuations and um, Sometimes there's even gas not available or fuel is not available and many people they are uh, cutting the last forests and the last bushes uh, to cook their meals. So we are planning here to set up a solar thermal power station and uh, demonstrate and do the research on the possibilities to generate electricity, steam and hot water uh, for our institution. We face uh, as an institution also many problems and the cost of the fuels becomes a real big burden and um, we would like to demonstrate here the alternative of making use of the abandoned sunshine in Rajasthan. Rajasthan is one of the sunshine states of India and um, so it seems quite viable to set up this solar system based on a 60 square meter parabolic dish. And uh, the idea is that we are setting up approximately 770 of these dishes on this beautiful land here. Okay, we are standing in front of our, one of the uh, oldest, we can say from last two years we are uh, residing here, a small temporary hut. Uh, here around six brothers we are staying together. And uh, this was the oldest building which was on site and we renovated it. You are looking this wide area of solar thermal power plant. This is a major step towards uh, having a sustainable community uh, to provide the power to our uh, Shantivan. Uh, this actually is a solar thermal power plant where we manufacture the big reflectors of 60 square meter which you can see a part of that is a stand and a rotating support and uh, we have dish in that side. Uh, here uh, we are manufacturing this dish in such a way that it concentrates sunlight of 60 square meter into 500 mm where we are getting a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius. From that temperature uh, we generate steam up to 450 degrees Celsius and then we convey it to the turbine and from turbine we generate the electricity and again transporting it to our Shantivan campus. This is a, a basic overview of this project. Uh, this is a demonstration project. So the whole design is uh, in-house designed, manufactured and erected here only. So we want to show this is a project where you can do individually and decentralized. So everything is manufactured here. So, Around 45 acres of land we will use for uh, this specific solar project. Uh, then uh, other land we want to uh, use it for the organic farming. Even underneath the plant we can grow the vegetables and these things. So the whole plant is designed in such a way that uh, we are not uh, using uh, the this uh, power plant not only for the power generation but also we can use it for the vegetable growing and the fruits growing all these kind of things. Uh, you see you are looking the green bushes backside uh, actually this is tuar dal which is very popular in Indian kitchen and Indian recipe. Uh, uh, we bought this land two years back and the whole land was uh, with the full of uh, uh, different bushes and thorns so we cleaned it and we are now using uh, cultivating this uh, uh, pulses and uh, other uh, vegetables for our organization. Okay, so we are standing in front of a small prototype of actual dish which we are going to use in this solar thermal power plant. This is of 2 square meter which is manufactured in such a way that it concentrates the sunlight into 250 mm which is a very small area. You can see the intensity, you can feel the intensity of this sun here. It catches fire within fraction of second. 
So this we are using it for our daily cooking. Here is our chief chef. He cooks uh, on this cooker for us. Dal, rice and other vegetable uh, things. You can see the power. So the actual dish will be 30 times bigger than this which is 60 square meter and we are using 750 numbers of 60 square meter. So you just can imagine the power of the sun and from there we are generating the steam and power to our campus. This is a horizontal dish here. Uh, this is of uh, about 60 square meter huh? area. This is going to erect on the rotating dish huh? after the mirror fixing. The plant is actually running in the cogeneration mode. It means heat and power both at the same time. And uh, by this we can raise the efficiency, the overall efficiency of the plant tremendously. And um, this plant shall become an example and uh, demonstrate the viability of making use of these solar technologies also in this place here in Rajasthan in India. And um, it also supports to some extent our philosophy to live in harmony with nature and make use of the natural resources which are around. Here we are standing into our fabrication hall number one. This is around 12,500 square feet uh, which we will use it for fabrication of the whole solar thermal power plant. We have to fabricate around uh, 7,000 tons of st steel and uh, has to be installed on the site. So this will be placed to do that activity. Uh, here we tried a new technology called a self-supporting structure. You can see on the roof uh, there, is, uh, there are no any uh, auxiliary supports uh, to support the seat. The seat itself makes a, uh, uh, the, that uh, curvature to support uh, the structurally. So um, this is a new technology which we implemented here. It took two days to cover whole roof of uh, 1200 square meters. Uh, so very effective, very efficient, good looking and long life. I am with a small team which we are on site always. He is our brother Ramesh. He is uh, looking after the electronic, electrical and electronic division. He invented a very small circuit to track the whole 60 square meter mirror. Morning to evening it tracks automatically. It sends the sun and in the evening it goes back automatically. And here is our brother Yogesh who is looking after the site and site developments. Uh, here is your chief chef Mr. Shiv Kumar. He prepares very nice uh, Indian uh, cousin and uh, we <laughs> always enjoy that. Uh, here is our civil engineering department, Brother Jay Murugan, and uh, here is our uh, Brother Ishwar who is all assisting to Jay Murugan, and here is our Kumar who is looking for the stores and uh, equipments. Good. <laughs> We want to do this a green solar thermal power plant. So when we bought the land, our first job was to plant the trees around the periphery. So we have around 700 trees of different varieties, uh, including neem, teak, and uh, badam, and different uh, kind of trees. Uh, so which gives a very good uh, greenery as well as uh, shadow to the uh, people who are working here. Here you see a very nice tree which was there already on this site, and uh, we developed. Uh, uh, in, around this small sitting uh, area as well as a small garden. So evening we sit here and discuss about the project and also discuss about the spiritual things. These are some papaya trees and uh, we uh, grow them here and there. We have around 50 papayas and uh, we eat a lot of them and they are all organic grown, organically grown papayas. The basic idea behind this power plant is to provide a sustainable lifestyle to the villages in and around this site. So that's the reason why we uh, decided to manufacture the whole power plant uh, locally so we can provide enough employment to the poverty ridden people here. In Rajasthan as we are aware that uh, um, here we get a lot less rain than other parts of India and a lot of people are very poor here. So we are providing them the employment as well as we are 
trying to um, teach them the good life uh, and teaching them how to uh, get rid out of their uh, all the habits smoking habits drinking habits and things so time to time we conduct some classes some meditation courses for these villagers here we are expecting to provide the employment uh, from this uh, plant around 500 people uh, where uh, in and around it's enough employment generation is there dishes we are generating steam approximately at 40 bar and 250 degrees centigrade and that steam we are sending to our campus where we will have a small turbine and then uh, as per the requirement we produce electricity or we can produce up to two three million liters of hot water per day for bathing purpose or if required we can divert some of the steam to our solar kitchen to our steam kitchen and cook the meals with that the spiritual steam. people, our whole activities surrounded uh, uh, behind this, surrounded uh, around the spiritual life from morning meditation and uh, gatherings and evening meditation. So we have a small meditation room here where around 20 people can sit together and meditate uh, for uh, whatever time they like. And in between also we have some programs so to rejuvenate the people who are working. Room, uh, we concentrate our mind and. Uh, you see a photograph of the founding father, Brahma Baba, who founded the organization and he is the inspiration for all our activities.